What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the NIU Dynasty. I started off right away again, guys. I, I literally just finished recording the last video. Um, <laughs> I'm just having so much fun with it, man. This is like my first real big experience with college football as a whole. And the recruiting stuff, I, I, I'm loving the recruiting stuff. Like the battles and, and trying to figure out like what's going to work and what players I can go after and what ones I can't. I'm still learning this the same as anybody else is. I, I've looked on YouTube to try to learn things. I've done some research myself, like just by messing around in the game, but I feel like I'm gonna learn the most over the next couple of seasons with this dynasty. And um, at some point I'll probably put out a video about like what I've, I think for, for the best tips and the best practices. But a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna probably put out is gonna be the same stuff that's already out there. Um, you know, I, I don't know if I'll even put a video out for it. I know that those videos always will end up finding traction and will be good for the channel. So for that reason, I might put one out later just in the off chance you guys don't see the other videos but there are so many out there right now with some really good information that right now i just don't see the need to especially when i'm so novice in this so anyway we're gonna get right into ball state i just want to make sure that my depth chart is still in order because they reset it on me last week and they reset it again is there like some new bug or something like it it's resetting it every week all right, so I went ahead and I had to readjust the depth chart. So if you guys are in a dynasty, make sure you are checking that your dynasty is not resetting stuff because my depth chart and my settings were all reset. So I actually had to write them all down here so I remember what I had them set to um, because I don't want to lose them. Um, so yeah, make sure you're checking that out. Uh, apparently that's a bug right now, which is great. Same bug Madden had. So <laughs> I guess they're more connected than we all thought or at least we're hoping for. But anyways... Let's go ahead and let's take on Ball State. All right, so the first drive did not go our way. We ended up having a couple of nice runs, a, a decent screen connection, but then we ended up stalling out, having to punt it, and now it is time for Ball State to start things off on offense. Go a handoff, and right away he finds a wide open lane off the right side, and a juke move gives him even more space on his way for a 23-yard gain. And that looks similar to what happened to our first play, and then we stalled. Let's see if Ball State can keep the pedal to the metal as they'll go right back to the same side of the field. This time, though, only good for five, and it's Charlie Spiegel is the man on the carries. Little pitch play end around, and that's working as well. Ball State wide open down the sideline, and they're inside the 30. So far, their drive going much better than ours did. Play action. He's got time, and he's going to throw it away. Didn't like any of his options. Took the opportunity to get rid of it. Lived to see another down, second down. And there it is again, another handoff. And that one only goes for two. Not a whole lot on that play. Oh man, all the time in the world ends up checking it down and Davis on the coverage is gonna force a field goal. So even though they started driving on us pretty good, we end up shutting it down at the end and we'll at least force a three point try. And it's good, three nothing ball state after one drive. All right, so here we go, second attempt on offense. Let's see if we can get something moving this time. Hand off right up the gut, Brown finding space gets nine. Another handoff, and another nice lane gets us the first down. And now we are all the way out to the 36. And another handoff to Brown. That time, Ball State was ready. Bring him down after one. Thomas in motion, fake it to him, give it to Brown. And a nice run there for a gain of about four. And third and four, here we go. Last drive, we had third and four. We could not get it done. This time, Macon takes a snap. And he's going to run with it. And he's got plenty of space all the way down to the 45 before sliding down. And now that finally puts us into plus territory. Oh, it's a pitch to Brown. We got the edge block, but not the second one. 
Barnes couldn't contain his man. If he did, we might be in the in the end zone right now. But still a good gain of five. Barnes in motion. Beautiful trap block, and there goes Brown. Down to the 23. That's what we like to see. We're going to go hurry up here. Getting set. Pistol look. All right, come on. Let's go. Get set, guys. We're going to go for the pass. Make it outside, and somehow Thomas makes the catch. Spinning off of contact as he hauls it in. And we got it down inside the 10. Incredible play from the young receiver. Now hand off to Brown. Right up the gut. Shut down at the three. A lot more run-focused approach this week, which I like to see. Let's see if we can get in this end zone here. Hand off to Brown, and he is shut down. All right, third and goal. And, oh, Gavin Williams checking into the game. That's a fake. Macon, end zone, touchdown, Grayson Barnes. No, oh, that's Applegate falling to the turf as he makes the catch. And we will take the lead with a touchdown. Ball State back on offense. We pinned them back at the 14. Pickoff team doing wonders today. And we get a sack. Look at that. And it's Crowell with the sack. I'm thinking about moving him to defensive tackle after this season, to be quite honest with you guys. He's a big man. And if he can play well in the, in the middle, I mean, he's got a home there. He's already one of our best defensive tackles in our nickel set, and that's what we run most of the time. So if we can move him inside, he can sort of be the, the carryover after this season ends, and at least we have somebody with some experience at the defensive tackle spot, and they're looking at that. Ontario Brown already getting all the work. 11 carries, 61 yards. Let's see if that is going to continue later on today. Hopefully we can get him a big day. That would probably help us with some of our risk of transfer people. Second and 14. Hand off. And nowhere to go. Third and 12. Can the defense get off the field here? Oh. No. Yes. Overthrew it. Beautiful play by the defense. Getting enough pressure to force that early throw. Put it off target just a little bit. And now we'll force the punt. No, we ran into the kicker. You've got to be kidding me, guys. Oh, no. And now they have a first and 10. That's a bullshit call. I can't stand roughing the kicker penalties. I can't. That's insane. And then that happens. Oh, I can already tell. They're going to score on this drive now. Oh, come on. Come on, defense. Make a play. There we go. Nice play. I think that was Dolphin in on the stop. Second and ten, but now they're in field goal range again. Stupid mistakes costing us in multiple games. Already starting here early in the second quarter. Oh, we are, oh they picked that up. Dang it. And they left it wide open. Oh, man, we had to get home on that blitz for that play to work, and it didn't. I think it was the tight end, or maybe the tackle broke free and chipped him at the end, threw that whole play off, left that whole side of the field open. And they're going to... It's a keeper. And doesn't get much. A few yards. Little end around pitch and all the way down to the three. He could have had a touchdown, it looked like, but that the angle he took was not, not the best. Third and one. Going for the pass. Easy pass and catch. Touchdown, Ball State. And just like that, roughing the kicker ends up costing us the lead. You know, the one thing that irritates me about roughing the kicker is that it happens when you're not even going to get the guy anyway, you know? But like, just stop. Like, just stop trying to dive. You're not going to get extra brownie points just by looking like you're almost getting there because that just cost us a touchdown. We had the stop. That's so frustrating. Make it over the middle. Nice strike into Lewis. He holds on. 
gets it to the 35. Our receivers have been making some big time plays for us the last two games. And it's already starting off pretty good so far. Hand off to Brown up the middle. That's his 13th carry. We gotta slow our roll here a little bit. Got to sub this guy out by halftime. Let's go right back to him again. I mean, I love when he runs because he is just a beast. But I also don't want him to get hurt. Look, he's tired. He's gassed. It's only the second quarter. There we go. Yeah, get it out to oh Johnson. And he'll get three. Johnson, of course, last episode with that huge touchdown to open up that game. Really set the tempo for us. And um, nice to see him getting an opportunity. Williams checks in at running back. We're going to pass it. Quick one underneath to Lewis. And we got ourselves another first. Pitch outside. Brown wide open for the first five yards. Like there wasn't anybody by him. And we'll get another gain of seven. And that was a horrible decision. I mean, he threw it like to the where the receivers were, but there was such a mess down there of all the defenders. I wouldn't have thrown that. There we go. Get it to Lewis. Get that first down. Keep the chains moving. We don't need 30 yards every time. Just 10 every three, right? A handoff. Brown cuts it back inside. He'll find his way for six more. I'm pretty sure he's already over 100 yards. And I'm pretty sure he has like almost 20 carries already. Williams checks in, and he finally gets a carry. Okay. Short gain on the play for him. And that was the two-minute warning. Third and three. Play action. Oh, beautiful pass to Barnes, and he takes off to the end zone. Grayson Barnes showing the speed. Catches the underneath hook route and this takes off away from the rest of the defense. 14 to 10. What a way to answer back. All right, Ball State back out here. Play action. Oh, rolling out. He's going to take off with it. He can't get away. Ivan Davis tracks him down for the sack. Take the snap again. He's gonna run again. And he's gonna slide down after a few. He does pick up the yards he lost and got a few extra. That's gonna call, cause them to... We called a timeout. Okay, so we called that timeout. Oh, going for the screen. And we just gave him a free, st a free stoppage of the clock, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That was stupid. I understand why we did it. I'm not gonna say nothing, but that just sucks. Oh, stunt doesn't get through. Come on, make the play. Oh my God, what a play, man. I thought he almost had that. Oh, blitz coming. Oh, what? No way that's gonna count as a fumble, right? I mean, I'm so happy if it does, but there's no way. I mean, that was an incomplete pass. The session's all excited. That's got, like, there's, wow, I can't believe that. Sean Prophet puts the hit down on number 16, and it's going to give us the ball back. I just can't believe the game registered that as a fumble. Macon got to throw it. Does, and Lewis, man, with them catching, those catches in traffic, he has just been so good. That's the second time just today that he has like made the catch when he's getting smacked by the defender and held on. Maybe he's maybe he's not that far away from McElroy. This McElroy was shown off. And another quick one underneath. That one is Barnes again. Down to 23 seconds. We have an opportunity here. Let's not waste it. Make it back. Looking to the end zone. Oh my God, I thought he caught that. If Johnson would have caught that, wow. I, I'm not even mad that he dropped it. That was that was a tight window throw though. I give credit to Macon for making that throw. 
And a cr credit for that one too. Another big pass to Applegate. And we get another touchdown before halftime. Wow. Macon is coming out swinging the last couple of weeks. He sends the pressure from his left, rolls out, buys some time, just fires it, and Macon was just, or uh, Applegate was running open down the, the, like the line of the end zone, and that's gonna make it an easy touchdown for us. And once again, we have a 21 to 10 score as we hit the break. All right, here we go. Second half underway. Ball State's gonna start, at us, start us off. Those are words. Yeah, Spiegel takes a handoff. Nothing on the play. They're going straight to the hurry up here. Must have saw something they like, right? Haven't done a lot of this today. Oh, now they're calling audibles. All right, defense, be ready here. Okay, nice little underneath route. Gets the completion, a few more yards, third and five. Going right back to the hurry up. We gotta play up here. We gotta play up. Okay, we're, we're sort of in press position. I like that. On defense. Oh, almost got there, but we do. Excellent play, and look who it is. It's Jaden Dolphin. The pressure by O'Malley, and then the tackle by Dolphin forces the punt. And nobody hit him that time, and that was a horrible punt. Wow, that was an atrocious punt. Oh, well. All right, first and ten. We're going to start all the way out at the 39. Hand off. Thomas. Thomas in the open. Across midfield down to the 46. We haven't seen him really take off on one of those since the first episode when he absolutely demolished the defense on that big run. And this time they're going to go back to Brown. Man, 47. He has been doing some good work today for Ball State. I'm not sure what his name is. But he makes the stop there on Brown. He's done that a couple of times. Barnes goes in motion. Play action. Macon looking to pass. Finally does. Finds a wide open player. And he's off to the races all the way to the 11. Kyle Thomas. They're going to mark him back at the 13 somehow. But I don't care. That was a huge play. All right. Get set, guys. We can really put this one in a really good position for us. Oh, man, Thomas. 24 stayed home. He didn't want to see that happen again. That was a good play on the defense. Second and 11. And off to Brown. He's got space. And he's down to the three. Brown needs a touchdown. Give him a touchdown. Third and one. Oh, we're going to pass it. Make an end zone. Johnson just standing all alone. Fourth touchdown of the day. This offense is on fire. Give him the gritty, Johnson. 28-10. Hand off to Spiegel. He finds a little bit of a gap. He gets a few yards. Second and seven. Go well, right back to him. And it works about the same. A couple of yards on the play, nothing else. Third and five. On defense, almost got some pressure there. Oh my God! Bird went for the big play, misses. And then number two falls in an incredible catch, turns up field and takes off. That was a big play there. I mean, I love Bird, but at that point right there, man, you can't, you can't always go for the big play. And there he is again on the other side, this time with a little end around, and it does not work. Ivan Davis shuts it down for a loss of one. Hand off up the middle. Okay. He was fighting. He got a few good yards there. Gets six of them back. And now it's third and five. Back to pass. Underneath, nobody there. Not a soul. Another pass. 
And it's over shots. Thank God. Defense needs to step it up here. Shut things down. Don't let them get back in this game. We need a statement win. We haven't had like a real good statement win this year. There we go. Where's Gasaway? Why is he not on the field? Oh, wait. No, he's not. Why is Furman in there again? Did he get hurt? I didn't see it. I'm going to have to exit out and check it out. Yeah, that's the first. Yeah, I'm going to exit out here quick and check on why Gasaway is not in the game. Oh, man. Oh, my God. We're getting destroyed by 38. Oh, really? They do it in this game, too? They switch sides of the field when you exit sometimes. Come on, guys. Well, I think I know why he wasn't in the game. So... I'm pretty sure that it pulls two certain linebackers for our base set, even if it's not considered, like, nickel. And he was not, like, he wasn't in that, that grouping. I think it's the left outside linebacker and middle linebacker that they pull, because now that I made him the starter at middle linebacker, it's him and Dolphin in all the time. So I'm going to stick with that from now on. And... Oh, what a nice catch. That's a good catch. I mean, I hate to see it. I wish we had a defender over there, but hey, a good catch is a good catch in Ball State. Closing the gap here late in the third quarter. All right, here we go. Hand off to Brown, and he gets into the open, a nice gain of five. So I must admit, I was not aware of what this game was called between these two teams. I just looked it up. So it's called the Bronze Stock. Bronze Stock Rivalry. Good to know. Oh, big catch there for Applegate. So, essentially from what I've learned is, I, I guess this is one of their biggest rivalries. So, I'm an idiot for not knowing that. I should have known that. Make it underneath. Finds Lewis. And Lewis fighting forward for the first down. And that is going to end the third quarter, I think. I don't think we're going to call a play. Oh, maybe we will. No, we're not going to. And, um, yeah, so, I... I guess I, I'm a horrible person because I did not know the name of this game and I did not know their biggest robber. I probably should have looked that up. So apologize for any NIU fans or Ball State fans for that matter if you're watching. Uh, but I do now. Bronze stock rivalry. It's real. And it was just renewed, it looks like, last year. Cool. All right. Well, here we go. Second and eight. Oh, I love Kenji Lewis. The, he... The way he is able to hold on to the ball in tough situations has been just remarkable. And there's Johnson wide open. Johnson breaks free from one, and he's down to the 12. Now that this offense is rolling, I can't wait to see what we do when McElroy's back in, in tow. Thomas in motion. He takes the pitch. He gets outside. He's got a clear lane to the end zone, and we got ourselves a 35-point game from this offense. No defensive scores, just all offense. Pedal to the metal. 35 to 17 after this extra point. And Thomas, the second time he's done that on this play this season. And they skipped the, the replay. What's some punks? We need to make sure we don't take the foot off the gas here. Oh, they're going for the screen. They got it to Spiegel. Spiegel leaping over one of our defenders. It was gas away. And he'll get five. Going for the other screen on the other side. And they get it. I thought dude was going to get there, but he ends up getting blocked at the last second. Third and in inches. You have to think they're going to Spiegel here. No, they're not. They're going for a third straight. Oh, my God. How many... I mean, it's worked, so I shouldn't really say anything, but... We've seen this in Madden a few times in Madden's past, where it's just like screen after screen. It's like the game gets stuck in a loop. And... Get the sack! Oh, my God! He got away! Are you kidding me? Oh, Session, man. You gotta, you gotta be able to finish that one. That was rough. Over the middle, it's completed. And he's brought down. But another first down for Ball State. 
Going for yet another screen. Are you kidding me? Like, the thing is, guys, I have cooldown on. How many screens do they have in their playbook? I have a four-play cooldown. Like, relax, guys, you know? I don't know if that works for CPU. There's nothing that can confirm or, you know, disprove that it does work. It could be a placebo that I feel like the game plays better when there's something turned on, but just saying. I have everything in place that could avoid that thing happening right there with four of the same plays in five plays. And he gets another completion. Caden, is that Ramonza, does that say? That, is that what that said, Ramonza? Oh, 20 gets it for the first time. I haven't seen him get the ball much at all. And he gets it for eight yards. They have taken a lot of time, though. They started this drive with 10 minutes. We're down to 450. Play action. End zone shot picked off. Interception. It's profit. I don't know why he took it out. But he did. And that right there, folks, that puts us in a prime spot. As long as we can get out of the shadow of our own goalposts here, we could end up ending this game on this drive. There goes Brown. Quick run outside, gain of four. That was Ball State's sort of last hurrah, I feel like, to really put a, a dent in this lead that we have. Oh, watch for the trap here. Yep, trap play. And Brown trying to find his way through, but I think Ball State was onto it too. They'll shut him down after just a couple of yards. Third and two. Oh, are we going to get a... Yeah, that's on the defense. He jumped. Ow. Oh, you don't see that too often. Encroachment called on the defense. And Macon hands it off to Brown again. And Brown gets it for seven more. What a what a day for this offense, man. This was like this was the day that we needed. We have not had a game where it was just like our offense just dominated. And our defense did a good job too, holding them to 17 points. We haven't seen that a lot at, at all. So I'm really happy that we were able to put together such a like an all-around performance today. Uh-oh. Snap it, snap it, snap it, snap it. Oh my god, that scared me. Dude, what are you doing? Okay, you fixed it. I'm saying like, Brown, why why are you not going that way? But he fixed it, so we're good. Another handoff. And shut down. This kind of performance is what can save some of our, our people that are looking to transfer. Like, this is the kind of performances we need. A big game on the ground. Defense playing well. It could even help us in some of our recruiting. And there goes Brown. Just adding fuel to the fire. Putting another nail in the coffin of Ball State. We should be able to just down it out here, right? I don't think we're going to play this game where they call timeouts. I mean, it's it's clear that it's over. Let's see. Hopefully they just let us down it out now. Now we're going to have to run the plays. Well, it's down to six seconds, so we're fine. Let it run out. And there it is, folks. A big time win on the road in our rivalry matchup to take home the bronze stock game. What a what a day, man. I'm so excited about this. Let's see. Do we get some fancy little cutscene for, for winning this this rivalry? And yeah, Macon definitely deserves it. He had a day. 208 yards, five touchdowns. He was just dotting it up all day. All right. That win got us. 10 points to our coaching. So let's go ahead and let's take care of that right away before I forget. Let's do one here. That could help us when we're trying to get uh, Williams in town. And then we're going to do... I think we have to get this started. Yeah, let's let's get that started. Since this year, we're not doing a whole lot right now anymore. But we'll make sure we include this. We'll, we'll get these leveled up soon. But right now we have the recruiting actions give a bigger bonus to the running backs. Same with the wide receivers. We now have less time to fully scout corners and safeties. And we have all but the last one for D-line and linebackers. So now we're going to have to work on oh, like offensive line next. 
but I'm, I'm happy with this so far. All right, so let's take a look and see what we're looking at now. Oh man, we are very close to Callaway committing to us. That's big. Nobody ever got into, into play with him. Um, Bowling Green has taken the lead on Garfield. I'm still not sure if I really want to go forward with him at all, but we'll, we'll just keep it in the back pocket. Raymer, we're still making progress on. I did the hard sell to Emmanuel Williams and we managed to get back on top of Central Michigan's influence there. They do have a scheduled visit coming up, but I'm almost hoping we can try to swing them before then. Um, we're still good on Mike Hall. Nobody's, you know, even trying to get him, which is weird. Wide receivers, we are still holding on to George Salter, but we don't know if he's going to stay there or not. Um... We have still not had any movement on Jason Nix after having a, a recruit with him. I might add something to him this week to see if I can get him to, to fitter us before he cuts us out. We're almost down to the top three now with Kuhn. We're getting there with Rashid. Ali, we are almost to top three. We are leading by a, a wide margin now. Our influence is killing everybody else. Okay, so right now we're sort of maintaining with Truman. We're just, we're maintaining right now. I think what we're going to do with him is I am going to swap this for a hard sell. See if I can get him to, to commit. So we're going to play hometown hero on him. That might be able to get us to commit him over central Michigan. It also gets us 10 more uh, hours. We're good on Redmond. We are now in first place for Cam Yang. That's big. And we jumped out to a major influence here on Donahue. I just gave him a scholarship offer. Just a one star. Just to try and fill some spots. Um, haven't made any move with Terrell and oh boy. Okay. So the hard sell did not work as much as I wanted. It, it worked, but it didn't work as well as it did for Northwestern. What if I take this back and then I do contact friends and family, just max them out. See if that gets them to flip. We didn't get any movement on major, but but we'll, uh, we'll see what that happens there. This is the other one here. Okay, so we just got surpassed now. We got surpassed by Indiana. Shoot. I sent the house on this guy too. Okay, well, let's, let's see here. Let's do... Let's try a hard sell. The only thing I can think of here to try and save this. Hard sell. We do not have... A very good option but i mean we we have to do with what we have to deal with right the send the house isn't working we gotta try something different there it is okay so student of the game we have a d plus c minus an a we're gonna run with that see if that works and if you guys are wondering why i'm not doing visits there's a, a pretty good reason for that most of the time it's not worth the risk that's one thing i have picked up you can schedule a visit but that means that for that week it's just going to show scheduled visit, but you're not getting the credit for it yet because you haven't had the visit yet. And then you can change it the week after, but you lose some influence during that week sometimes. And right now we're fighting with Indiana, who they don't have a visit scheduled. And as you've seen, a lot of schools really don't have visits scheduled until way late in the season. You're almost better off sticking all of those man hours into recruiting them before a visit even comes into play because most of these guys can be had before visits even start rolling out if they get them. So that's why you guys see me not really touching the the, um, the visits because it just doesn't make much sense. All right, I'm going back to that formula that Max plays CFB talking about the, about the points, okay? I want to see if it makes sense. So we're looking for 19 points here. I don't think we're going to get it though. Brand exposure at D plus. That's four points. Championship contender, now we're at a C plus for that. God gives us seven. So now we're at 11 and then we have a C on playing time, which is six. Not enough. Okay, so never mind. Does not make sense. We're just going to go back in here. And we're just going to go back to send the house. Leave it alone. There we go, guys. We finally get Braden Calloway to commit. All right, so Malcor still is being a punk. Macon hasn't changed his mind. We are now up to a B- minus in championship contender. We are at a 63rd ranked school. What? Okay, NIU. And we lost Sneed. Which, hey... That means we get a lot of points back, but it does suck. But hey, we, we tried, right? All right, now I'm excited. Let's go and check out this recruiting here. We should have some hours to play. Oh yeah, we have plenty of hours to play with now. So we have Braden Calloway in tow. 
I could probably still snag Garfield if I wanted to. I probably should. We don't have many guys. Okay, so Emmanuel Williams, we jumped out on heavily now after that, so we are good there. Um, nothing really on Raymer. Our, our interest went away, but that's fine. We'll get that back. Um, let's just do a run through here to see where we're at. We are still getting outgained by Bowling Green, but we are in the top three here. Did I do a hard sell on this guy? I did not. Okay, we're going to try to do a hard sell on him. See if that can finalize things. Okay, we actually have a pretty good one here. Campus or uh, hometown hero once again for him. We'll do that. Got 40 on him. We still have him maxed out. Oh, no, we don't. We can actually do... Let's just do DM the player then as well on top of that. We still haven't had any movement on Knicks, but I haven't really tried either, to be fair. Um, we're still good there. Okay, we are very close to getting the commit from Truman. I say we just leave this on for another week and we should hopefully be able to get this. What in the hell, Nebraska? Nebraska's pissing me off. We were good for how long? And now all of a sudden they want to come in and they're just like, oh, we just want this guy. So we're just going to just do this. That's crazy. I'm not scouting these guys, by the way, either. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. It doesn't pay to scout these guys. Okay, we're really close on Rawls. All right, we're leading on all these. Honestly, I should just, if I just offer this guy like 10, he might just, he might just pull the trigger. I mean, I know we're not to the commit stage yet, but my God, we have been running away with it without even having anything on it. Um, same with Parker. He's just sort of chilling there. Max Major Butt does not care for our scholarship. Um, we pretty much lost steam with Napolitano. Let's see what happened with our safety here. We jump back ahead. There we go. We jump back ahead. Let's go in here. I did a social media. We're going to remove that. And then we're going to do DM the player. Now he's maxed out. That gets us back in the league. Screw you, Indiana. Okay. All right. I'm happy with this now. Let's go back over here. But now is, I think, where we need to start upping some of the stuff that we have been sort of lacking on. Like Nick's here. He needs something. Let's see if we can do a uh, contact friends and family for him. Um, we're good on tight ends. I should, we need to find a different tight end though. That's one thing. We have one spot left for targets. I should make sure we get a tight end. We don't have much movement on any of these guys, but I would like, because Singleton is a top 1000 player. It's a top 900 player actually. So I would really like to bring him in. So I think what we're going to do with him, we're going to remove DM player. And then we are going to contact friends and family on him. That still leaves us with five hours. Then I think I want to do that with Dave Schilling as well. Only problem is we don't have any pass coverage linebacker. I haven't really found any though. Can't do anything more with Asher. I just got to hope that we can keep that, that momentum going. And then here, I feel like I should add something to him just because I'm trying to get him in the building. So let's just DM the player for him and then we can do 10 points somewhere else. I would say, let's just, I'm just going to throw this on him. Let's see what happens. We haven't even tried recruiting him and we're still in top three. And our influence is still actually more than the guys on top of us. So let's just see what happens. The rest of our schedule, I mean, we have nothing but Mac games for the rest of the season. I think I want to sim till our next bye week here. Or at least until um, the game against Kent State, which they're 6-2. and two. Because I'm really digging all the recruiting and I'm trying to get the recruitments in the door. And... That's just, yeah, I feel like I've been in this first season for a long time. So if you guys don't like it, I'm sorry. I can fix it next season. But that's what's what I'm feeling right now. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to stick with what we're doing. And we're going to advance another week and see what we can do with these recruits. George Salter finally committed. We lost. Oh, man, that sucks. That really sucks. We lost to uh, Western Michigan. I mean, it is what it is. Like I said, this is our first season. I'm just trying to feel this out. I want to see what's going on. Recruiting update, though. Are you serious, Truman? You went to Central Michigan, you punk. But once again, now we have a bunch of hours, and let's see where things are at now. Um, yeah, we're already pulling on those guys. We can just leave the 10 points on Garfield. We'll probably get him as a commit, too. Oh, we're so close with Williams on the commit. All right, so it looks like UAB is now starting to put their their names in the hat for Romeo Raymer. Um 
Williams is still our main target here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just add something to Raymer though again to, to keep that lead going. Oh, wow, okay, that was big for Nyx. He was like, yes, sir, thank you. We can get Nyx, I think that makes me happy for the rest of the season on, on receivers, unless we find something big in the transfer portal. And tight ends we're still good on. We're still good on Kali. UAB is starting to push a little bit on him. Truman, you son of a punk. He bowed out. So now we have to go a little bit harder on Redmond here. So let's go. We'll just do a contact friends and family on him. Yang, we're jumping out ahead on. Donahue, we're definitely leading on. Okay, leave Lonnie Terrell now has us as his top school. That's big. So we're good there. Um, we made a good push with Singleton and with Rawls and Schilling and Proctor. Okay, good, good, good. We're getting farther with Parker. Major Butt still doesn't care about us. And we are so close on top three with Asher here. But, but man, they are pushing hard for this. <laughs> they are pushing really hard for this. And there really isn't anything else I can do. I already did a hard sell. You know, like I, I can't make it any better. And this whole time, guys, I've been calling up Mar Maryland. This is Miami. Miami of Ohio for crying out loud. What am I thinking? All right, I think I'm gonna put my hat, my my name back in the hat for Adrian Doss. I had him on the board at some point, if I remember correctly. I took it off for some reason, but we're gonna put it back on and we're gonna we're gonna try to go full bore for this guy. I need us a three star. Cali kid. I don't know if he's gonna wanna come to Northern Illinois, but hey, we're gonna try it. Um, screw it. Let's just do contact friends and family right away to see if we get any push on him at all. Don't know if we will, but I'm willing to give it a shot. We're gonna try for we're gonna try for Greg Forsett at center. And then oh, Ahmad Boudreau is. I think we gotta try for him. Yeah, we're gonna try for him. And yeah, I know I'm I'm simming. Look, guys, this is a long term project. Okay, this is not a two or three season thing like I've been doing with franchise. I want to go like as long as I can with this dynasty. I'm I'm in it for the long haul. So like I I get it. We're in a good spot right now. But I need this team to be better. We've seen how bad this team can be, and we're only doing well against teams that are, like, getting destroyed on the regular. So I'm not concerned with playing right this second. I need us to get some recruits. I need us to build this team up. So I'm going to sim another week. This is the last one. There we go. We get Emmanuel Williams to commit. Finally. Oh, there we go. We leveled up. We'll get 10 points. That's big. That's big. Because now if we still have a shot at Asher, I can do the extra influence on DBs um dbs that and we're gonna go this as well because now i can do extra hours on asher that's that's big that might that might just get us what we need i don't know how bad it looks right now because i mean i haven't seen the actual board yet but let's just take a look and see okay so we're in the lead for garfield now we have committed emmanuel williams we were closing in with Raymer. I'm almost wondering if I should just let him go though. We're having some we're having some competition for Jason Nix here. That didn't even move the needle on Adrian Doss. Okay, so we're far running away with Redman. Okay, so we jumped out on top for Greg Forsett. That's good. That was just with five points, too. Good on Yang. And that didn't even make a dent with Bordeaux either. Or Boudreaux. Hey, dude, you're gonna have to stop being so picky here. Um, we're making good headway with Terrell now. Okay, we're good there. You know what? Screw it. We'll leave it on there. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go all in. We're just gonna get all the running backs and try to replace what Ontario Brown gave us this year. Wow, that was a lot of recruiting stuff. I know that was a long video too. They're all long videos. I'm enjoying this so much, guys. I hope you guys are as well. Uh, so far, the likes haven't, the likes and the views haven't really told me that y'all do, but I understand it's it's a long-term series and not everybody watches them all the time, so I get it. But as for this video, it's finally done. And our next video is gonna be against Miami of Ohio, who are eight and two. It's another conference game, and this is gonna be a huge matchup. So next episode, We'll see the final game. We'll also get some closure on some of these recruits, and then we'll be doing our off-season. So thank you guys so much for watching. Before you leave, hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already, and turn on that bell notification, and I will see you guys next time.